the second chapter, and it's called Problem Solving Organizing Data. Don't forget, um, uh, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, so your whole year can be found here. And same with fourth grade also. So anyway, here's our essential question. How can we make a table to organize data and solve our problem? Okay, and so this uh, common core strand right here is we're just representing and interpreting data. All right, so let's access some prior knowledge here. So do you guys have, uh, recall when your teacher was recording some things, or maybe they haven't yet, uh, he or she, um, when they start asking in numbers, they do these things called tally marks. And so instead of uh, you know counting off, like say you raised your hand, your teacher would count things, um, they, they would do tally marks. Like say they said, I want to know how many people uh, like blue the most or the colors and they'd start doing these tally marks and this tally mark would be uh, this one if there's one tally mark it counts as one if there's two tally marks it counts as two okay three tally marks is three four tally marks is four do you guys remember um, or have you seen how they count it as five you guys they wouldn't do five of these because after a while it starts getting kind of um, hard to read so what they do is I'll show you they do a little cross uh, thing right there and this this group represents five right there and it just makes it a little easier organized and easier to see that this represents five I mean you can keep doing tally marks if you want but it's just easier to count if you have these groups of fives in here so this would be five so for example if we had something like this this is a group of five plus three more right here so five plus three this would be eight right there okay say we had a couple of fives this would be five and five is ten and then plus two more is twelve so so those are tally marks and so what we're going to do is count these tally marks right here and that's what these are these are the counts right here so that's part of this lesson right here so for example right here uh, the students in mrs bullock's class voted for their favorite yogurt flavor mmm i love yogurt don't you uh, they organized the data in the tally table. So how many more students chose uh, chocolate than strawberry? Boy, I'm a strawberry fan, right? Myself, I like strawberry. Anyways, so we're going to um, uh, talk about this tally table here and see how many students chose uh, chocolate than stra strawberry. How many more? So another way to show this data is a frequency table. Okay, so this is a tally table right here. So a frequency table uses the number to record the data. So so here's a frequency table of the tally marks above okay so for vanilla here's five plus two so this would be seven so we'll go ahead and put a seven right there so it's just telling you know the count of how many tally marks there are so how many are in chocolate here's five plus three more is eight there's eight kiddos that like chocolate strawberry it looks like four people uh, like to strawberry and I would have been one of those four Loves, actually, I like them all, but strawberry is my favorite. So now let's go ahead and answer the question above. The question says, how many more students chose chocolate than strawberry? Okay, so let me just slide that up there. So we're going to be focusing on this uh, frequency table right here. Remember, the frequency table tells us how many how many the tally marks counted for. So, so we're going to go ahead and subtract, you guys, because we want to know how many more chose chocolate. So we're going to subtract these two numbers, 8 and 4. So 8 minus 4 is going to give us 4 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer the question. So there were 4 more students that chose chocolate uh, than they chose strawberry. So 4 more students liked chocolate better than, than they liked strawberry. Alright, so explain uh, why we record data in a frequency table. Well, what a frequency table does is it organizes the data and shows us the number of times each data value occurs. So uh, wait, you'll use frequency tables all the time. I use them in my high school classes all the time. Here's another example, you guys. So, um, two classes at Dingle Elementary School grew corn plants for a science project. The heights of the plants after three weeks are shown in the tally table over there. Okay. So the plants were measured to the nearest inch. All right. Now this is kind of tricky right here. Right here it says how many fewer corn plants were nine inches tall then seven inches and eight inches combined okay well there's mostly nine inch plants right here but how many fewer of the nine inch plants were there than the seven and the eight inches combined so we're going to go ahead and add these two right here and then subtract off this but we're going to make a tally table first all right okay so let's go ahead and read the problem so so what do we need to find well we need to find uh, uh, how many fewer plants were nine inches tall than seven and eight inches combined. Okay, and then so what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the tally table and we're going to create a frequency table. 
and find the number of plants that grew in each amount right there. And so how are we going to use this information? Well, we talked about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add how many that grew 7 and 8 inches tall. And then what, uh, when we add those, that's how many combined of 7 and 8 inches. So then we'll subtract off how many 9 inches grew. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve the problem. We'll record the steps uh, uh, that we used to solve the problem. Okay, so here's a, a frequency table that represents this tally table over here. Okay, so here's 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, here's 5 plus 3 is 8. Here's 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 more is 12, and then 5 plus 4 is 9 right there, okay? Now remember, the question says, how many fewer 9-inch plants were there than 7 and 8-inches plants combined? So, so now we're going to go ahead uh, and we're going to go ahead and add the 7 and 8 inch plants and then we'll subtract off how many 9 inch plants there were. Okay, I just slid that up and made some more room right there. Okay, so let's combine how many 7 and 8 inch plants give. Okay, so here's the numbers for 7 and 8. So we're going to go ahead and add 9 plus 8 gives us 17 plants for either 7 and 8 inches. So this is the combined 7 and 8 inches right there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and subtract how many that were 9 inches. Okay, how many 9 inches? There were 12. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 17 minus 12 and 17 minus 12 is 5. Alright, let's answer the question. So there will be 5 fewer corn plants uh, that were 9 inches than 7 and 8 inches combined. Okay, easy enough, huh, you guys? Hey, suppose uh, that the number of 3 inch plants, and they didn't put that in there, but let's just say, suppose that the number of 3 inch plants were half the number of 8 inch plants. How many 3 inch corn plants were there? Okay, well right here there's 8 8 inch plants right there and since the 3 inch plants would represent half of this, we'll take half of 8 which is 4. Okay, so since there were 8 8 inch plants, half of that would make 4. So there would be 4 3 inch corn plants. Okay, hey if you get a chance, would you guys like this video? Okay, and take care.